In the previous episode, we took a look at connecting the blue box to your target via a debug adapter. This time, we're taking a step forward and connecting via an active probe. The first thing you always need to do is to connect the blue box to the target with the enclosed grounding wire. If the grounding wire is not connected, it could lead to the destruction of your hardware or blue box. Safely connected with everything still powered off, we can continue. We'll be connecting the iSystem Infineon DAP slash DAP E active probe. It enables debugging, tracing, and testing on Infineon's Aurix microcontroller family. It allows you to connect to a target microcontroller in a confined space from as far as 5 meters away. Always use only qualified iSystem cables that have FNET 5G and the iSystem logo printed on them. Connect one side of the FNET cable to the active probe and the other side to the blue box. Next, connect the active probe to the target. Make sure you connect it correctly. You don't want to accidentally damage the hardware. Pin 1 of the cable has to connect to pin 1 of the target connector. You can find a mark next to pin 1. It's normally a small dot, a number 1, or a small triangle marker. Take note of where the red wire is on the cable. Now that you have everything connected, we can finally power on your setup. It is important to turn on your PC first, then the blue box, and lastly the target. When you're ready to power off your setup, follow the same steps, but in reverse. First, you power off your target, then the blue box, and lastly your PC. And that's all you need to do to safely connect to your target. If you're curious about other options, join us in the next episode where we'll connect to the target via a converter. See you then!